exalt, we thank you, thank you, Lord. Everlasting Father, we thank you. We appreciate you once again for another wonderful day to call upon your name, to seek you as you have commanded us, and I know we are going to find you tonight. Lord, as we come, I want you to speak to us. As we cry, oh please God, answer us. Like blind Bartimaeus, answer us tonight, oh God. At the end, oh Lord, we will give all the glory to you. The blessings will return to us. And the testimony will go far and wide in the whole world. And salvation will come to our different homes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you my father. We love you Lord. We give you praise. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you as you are joining us tonight. I want to specifically recognize my beloved brother who just left us not long ago, Brother Stephen Iyanti. God bless you and God will continue to keep you strong with good health in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tonight we are having our faith clinic and remember just like I used to say this is the only clinic that you are permitted to go into the theater and come out without spilling blood because the word of god that is a sword and is a surgical blade would touch every area of your life and will remove whatever god did not plant and then you will come out new amen Tonight, many of us will receive a new life, a new kidney, a new heart, a new body, everything new in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Just like blind Bartimaeus receive a brand new eyes, anybody who wants brand new eyes to get ready to receive it. You are going to receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. So today we are going to be talking about, before we pray, the fate of a centurion the fate of a centurion praise the name of the lord and then we are going to take our bible reading from matthew chapter 8 matthew chapter 8 will be reading from verses 5 to 13 matthew chapter 8 verses 5 to 13 and verse 5 says and when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him, begging him, telling him, Lord, and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of palsy. This my servant is paralyzed. He cannot move and grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You see that Jesus did not even argue. He said, I will come and heal him. And he decided, Jesus does not discriminate anybody. And such, whoever you are tonight, wherever you come from tonight, whatever religion you belong to tonight, Jesus is ready to love and to love you and to heal you. Just keep your mind open and believe in him that he's able to do it and he will do it for you in the name of Jesus. Then in verse 7 or verse 8, it says, The centurion, this is where I have seen a serious demonstration of faith. And that is why tonight faith clinic just have faith and you are going to receive something from god the centurion answered and said lord i am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof 
but speak the word everybody says speak the word tonight i want you to begin to speak the word anywhere you go just remember the word of god whenever satan attacks you just declare the word and you will see an answer coming instantly praise the name of the lord he said the centurion answered and said lord i am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof but speak the word only <laughs> and my servant shall be healed but how did this centurion being a roman soldier who never wanted to have anything to do with jesus how did he know he must have been hearing people talking about secretly has been believing this jesus and that day when his servant was sick he said no way i must go looking for this man he went by himself he did not send servants to go there he went there by himself I mean, a centurion must have been a, a commanding officer of a garrison and then he, he has bodyguards he has people that he can send. he decided to go by himself because he loved his servant how many of us love the people that we are using that are working for us like this can you take a, a step of faith and do that for your servant now let's look at verse 8 verse 9 verse 9 says he said you know what he said he now told jesus he said do you know the reason why i say you should speak the word is because for i am a man under authority having soldiers under me and i said to this man go and he go it and i said to another come and he come it and to my servant do this and he do it it jesus said wow verse 10 when jesus heard it he marveled and said to them that followed verily i say unto you i have not found so great faith no not in israel now when you jump to verse 13 let's move to verse 13 now and let's see verse 13 of that particular matthew chapter 8 and jesus said unto the centurion after he saw his great faith he said go thy way he was just speaking go thy way as thou hast believed so be it unto so be it done unto thee and his servant was healed in the same same hour praise the name of the lord the word of god is power the word of god is a spirit when you speak the word it goes far brethren let's mind let's be conscious of what we say because the word we speak carries power i still remember vividly very well many years ago a brother went into dry fasting and after that fasting he came out and one of his friends saw him he said my friend what happened to you why do you look so dry like uh, 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 what do they call it bonga fish and the friend said you are the one that was fasting said you are mad brethren instantly that brother became mad they have to begin to pray to cast out that spirit of madness from him mind the word you speak that is why tonight don't joke with the word don't play with the prayer we are going to pray tonight when we ask you to pray please pray because god is going to answer your prayer and you will see result tonight in the name of jesus amen. i can hear you i can see you are saying amen there can i hear your amen again amen. god will answer our prayers tonight in the name of jesus amen. brethren there is a great reward if you have faith in god the faith of the woman with the issue of blood gave brought healing into her life the woman did not just have faith 
and sit at home but her faith moved her to look for jesus because she has suffered so many things in the hands of the doctors spend a lot of money she was very rich her money could not save her tonight that money could that could not heal you that money that could not deliver you from that demonic power tonight the name of jesus will deliver you in the mighty name of jesus you see this case we're just reading about where jesus cured the centurion servant who was paralyzed without touching or seeing him physically is a case of great faith jesus just stood there and said a word he said go your servant is healed just as you believe you see one thing i want you to understand here the centurion the servant was lying in, in, in still in the sick bed not knowing what is happening but the faith of his master worked for him that means tonight even if you have somebody who is sick somewhere and is very very ill and cannot even talk your faith can work for him only if you open your mouth and speak the word tonight your faith will work for you in the name of jesus Amen. that is the faith of the centurion activated the word and in that that came from jesus's mouth and the servant received instant healing praise the name of the lord so the location of this miracle was in Capernaum, where jesus stayed for a while and when you look at matthew chapter 4 verse 13 14 and 15 it will confirm that matthew chapter 4 verses 13 14 and 15 let's read it and leaving nazareth he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is upon the sea coast in the borders of zebulun and naphtali that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by isaiah the prophet saying the land of zebulun and the land of naphtali by the way of the sea beyond jordan galilee of the gentiles praise the name of the lord now when you look at go to verse 16 go to verse 16 of that match you see he said the people which sat in darkness saw great light this was prophesied many years ago and this has to be fulfilled in the time of jesus through the faith of that centurion god has arranged everything he programs everything to come to pass according to his word and that is why you need to take a stand with god tonight and see what is happening in the world today and know that it was prophesied thousands of years ago and is coming to pass in your own time which also tells us that the second coming of the lord jesus christ that was prophesied thousands of years ago is definitely coming to pass are you ready for it praise the name of the lord verse 16 says the people we sat in darkness saw great light and to them we sat in the region and shadow of death light is sprung up praise the name of the lord i decree tonight wherever you are wherever darkness has taken over your life the light of god will shine into your environment in the name of jesus brethren let me tell you tonight if you believe this word that i'm speaking to you tonight you are going to see the light of god shining into your home you are going to see the light of god shining into your destiny that anything that you have been working against you tonight the light of god will shine and darkness will disappear in the name of jesus Amen. there is no way that there is light and darkness will remain no way god says he is jesus said i'm the light of the world and then when he was going he said ye are the light of the world as long as you accept jesus christ as his your personal lord and savior you become the light of the world so your word the word you speak becomes the word of jesus 
and it carries power. Praise the name of the Lord. So, wherever you are, the light will shine. And that place will go. In the name of Jesus. Who is this man that came to meet Jesus? That decided to leave his servant on the sick bed and look for Jesus Christ, whom he has heard, whom he has been hearing of, whom they must have been telling him about. I, I, I guess the centurion did not want Jesus to come because he you know he's a soldier and you know he lives in the barrack and then when you know, Jesus always go with crowd people will begin to say oh what is happening here he is bringing a, a, a crowd into the barracks praise the name of the Lord so the man we are talking about is a centurion is a gentile a Roman an officer of the army probably he was a commander in chief of the Roman army in which he was quartered in Capernaum. There must have been a battalion that he was commanding in that place and they made him the commanding officer. And then suddenly his servant was sick. Praise the name of the Lord. It is not common, definitely not common to see a highly placed general submitting to God like this. It is very rare. And then I don't know whether he put on his uniform maybe he was wearing his uniform can you imagine him going and bowing down and submitting to jesus say i believe in you even though many don't believe in you even though we have come to deal with you but i believe in you praise the name of the lord the same thing happened to to um, cornelius cornelius was also a roman soldier and he never knew but he was praying brethren there are so many people there that are worshiping god and i pray that the lord even you are worshiping god in the closet with with fear the lord will visit you the lord will touch you in your homes in your closet the power of god will visit you tonight in the name of jesus so he went to meet Jesus because of his servant. Not even his own family member. Not even his son. Not his wife. That shows the kind of heart. This centurion had. Jesus will never discriminate you. And when he comes. He always, any place he goes. He always do good. He went about every area that. He step his foot on and then he was always doing good and the faith of the centurion saved his servant who was not even in the scene the servant was not there you are not with me here we are not in the in the same place you are far away thousands of miles away you may be listening to me from the u.s you may be listening to me from nigeria you may be listening to me from jordan wherever you are now the light of god will touch your home will touch your destiny and will set you free in the mighty name of jesus Amen. there is power in his world there is no barrier in the word of God. Jesus just spoke the word. He said, my friend, go because you believe your servant is healed. And they said the same self hour he was healed. Everyone that is lying on a sick bed right now. Father, I speak into your life. As people are believing for their brothers believing for their sisters believing for their children believing for their parents lord let them receive healing tonight Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. there is power in the world jesus said behold that he has given us the power to tread upon serpents and upon scorpions upon every power of darkness he said he has released the power upon us so the same power the same spirit that was in jesus that same spirit is the one i'm using to speak to you right now and you will receive your deliverance tonight in the name of jesus Amen. are you being tortured are you being caged have you tried everything in your life are you being pursued by evil bird are you lying on a sick bed of cancer receive your healing now Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. father god 
you spoke the word and the centurion servant received his healing and you said you have given us the authority father god whoever is watching whoever is listening i stand as your representative tonight and i declare oh god let them receive a miracle tonight Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. who is like unto you oh god amongst all the gods there is none like you you are glorious in holiness fearful in praises doing wonders what a wonderful god we serve that the children of israel were marching on dry land they saw the red sea there was no way to run to and god told moses remember moses when he moved on the red sea pharaoh's army was closing in oh yeah God spoke to Moses, told him, stretch out your hands, that my people can walk in along there. They were walking on dry land. My people, don't you understand? Start believing. God is about to do. Do you believe it? God is about to do. keep on believing. God is about to do his greatest work in you tonight. That same God that divided the Red Sea for the children of Israel to march on dry land, that same God would do something new in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says in verse 13 of that Matthew chapter 8, Matthew chapter 8 verse 13, he said, And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way. And as thou hast believed, mark that word, as thou hast believed, do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe in the power of his name? Do you believe in his word? Do you believe that he died and resurrected on the third day? Do you believe that he can save you? If you believe, receive your deliverance tonight in the name of Jesus. So, he said, as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the self same hour not tomorrow not by the next hour but now this same hour this same second as i speak the word receive that deliverance for the people you are standing for let them receive their deliverance Amen. through you you are the word of god will be connected to them wherever they are in the mighty name of jesus Amen. but then let's just they, let's not let's say the fact there is power in the word of god amen. amen there is power in the word of god i want to tell you that god has used his word several times I, is, is anything you are looking for is anything you've been crying to god for and you have not received it tonight you are going to receive it in the name of jesus brethren i want to give you a very good testimony to 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 really to really boost your faith tonight about nine months ago i traveled somewhere to a particular um uh country and i ministered in a church and after the ministration I met somebody as God directed me and I asked the person, said, what have you been looking for that you have not gotten? Oh, he told me, daddy, for years, so and so number of years, we've been um, believing God for children. Oh, I say it is time. You and your husband come and see me. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. They came, they met me where I was and uh, we pray a simple play, prayer. That was exactly nine months ago, about October, October 25th, 2019. Brethren, as I'm speaking to you three days ago, I received the good news. He said, Daddy, my wife has a bouncing baby boy. Praise the name of the Lord. That same word that he gave them the baby boy whoever is looking for a husband whoever is looking for a child whoever is looking for deliverance receive yours in the name of jesus Amen. if only you believe we have a god that can do miraculous things praise the name of the lord as you are listening right now as you are watching now you can receive your healing you can receive your deliverance if only you believe Praise the name of the Lord. Brethren, I want to increase your faith. What I want you to 
open your mouth right now and say, Father, Father help, my help my unbelief. Increase my faith. Increase Begin my to faith. pray right Father, now, Father. Help my unbelief. Father, Increase my, my faith. Father God, I know in the world we are, when we look at the way things are, Lord, increase my faith. Help my unbelief. Let me trust in you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praise the name of the Lord. Psalm 107, 19 and 20. Psalm 107, this is 19 and 20. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble they cried unto the lord in their trouble you will cry unto god in that your trouble tonight Amen. brethren see the lord is watching the lord knows your name he knows your name he knows your every thought he sees each tears that falls and he hears you when you call he knows your name he calls you by your name he is seeing those tears he will answer you tonight look at what the word says then they cry unto the lord in their trouble inside that trouble you are you will cry and you will receive an answer and he saved them out of their distresses whoever wherever you are and you are in serious distress the lord will save you tonight Amen. in the mighty name of jesus Amen. then when they cried look at what verse 20 says he said he's sending his word just like he sent his word to the centurion servant he sent this word and he healed them and delivered them from their destruction look somebody will ask a question how come that the word of god that is just sent decided to heal them look the bible said the word of god they are life and spirit the word of god is a two-edged sword it pierces through the heart do you know what a two-edged sword does it can cut you anywhere if you make a mistake if you do anything wrong it will cut you praise the name of the lord the word of god is power amen I want you to open your mouth and say, Father, Father as, I I you tonight, as I cry unto you tonight, help me, help me out of this trouble. Of so me. mention that trouble you are passing Father, through. Me. Mention that thing you are passing through. Ask God, me. please, as I cry unto you, cry unto God. Tell God that look great. Tell him that thing. Tell him that challenge that is you are facing. Cry. Tell him now. He is going to answer. He's a merciful God. He's a loving God. Father God, help me out of this trouble that I am. I find myself. Lord, deliver me. Don't let my enemy, the enemy, laugh at me. Don't let them say, "Where is my God?" Cry unto Him right now. Tell Him, Father, I need Your help. I need Your help tonight. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Whatever you have cried unto God for, I stand by the power in the word of God. And I send this word into your different home, different challenges and problems. And I decree, as he has said, this will the word you have spoken. He will go to that problem. And that problem is solved tonight in the name of jesus if you need healing deliverance or anything receive it tonight in the name of jesus Amen. mark chapter 10 mark chapter 10 verse 46 to 50. mark chapter 10 verses 46 to 50. and they came to jericho and as he went out of jericho with his disciples a great number of people blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. Some people, some Bible scholars say that we calling him a sign of the son of Timaeus. Timaeus means son of a blind man, you know, son of a blind man, a blind boy coming from a blind man. Double our, our my, my, my country will say double wahala, double trouble. A father is blind the child is blind oh my god and no wonder they always take him out 
to go and sit somewhere and beg and then verse 47 and when he heard i wonder how he knew about jesus he must have been interested he must have been hearing look whatever you hear would determine who you are if you listen to the devil you will follow the devil if you listen to jesus you will follow jesus see when you hear the beating of the drum different kinds of drum and you dance to the tune of that drum as you follow that drum the song the lyrics it will take you to where you want to go but who, who are you listening to what world are you listening to and when he heard that it was jesus of nazareth he began to cry out how did he know him how did he know that he was the son of david he said jesus thou son of david have mercy on me he did not say jesus the son of mary he went deep into the root into his root you know what god said to david he said for my anything god is saying he said i could have done this i could have punished you but for my son my servant david's sake david there will be another david in the house tonight because david served god even though he was a great sinner but because he repented from his sin and never decided to go back god loved him so much praise the name of the lord and many people charged him that he should hold his peace verse 48 but he cried the more tonight whoever is stopping you from crying to god tell that person go and wait let me cry to jesus that i've seen now don't let the voices of people don't let the voices of your, your your neighbors stop you from getting what god wants you to get you cry to god and they said but he cried the more a great deal thou son of david have mercy on me praise the name of the lord as you cry unto god tonight the lord will answer you in the name of jesus Amen. verse 49 and jesus stood still jesus will stand still for somebody this night i decree lord because you are a merciful god wherever your children are, have been crying for many years and no result lord tonight let this be a night of miracle Amen. as you increase their faith let them receive a miracle tonight Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. god is an amazing god jesus stood still and commanded him to be called Hey, Braconda, Sire, thank you, Jesus, for your mercy. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good cheer. My children, relax. Rise, he called thee. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And he, mark this word, listen to me carefully. Listen to what blind Bartimaeus did. And he, casting away his garment rose and came to jesus rise on your feet and begin to pray and say father lord every garment of shame in my life in my destiny remove it tonight open your mouth every garment of shame in your generation in your life in your family that when people see you they will begin to say oh shame they will begin to say shame ah lord let it be taken away i remove it tonight hey by your by faith remove that garment of shame by faith look at that thing that causes shame say you are removing it tonight is it the family that you cannot marry you have heard that your family no woman can marry they say no no woman can have children ah cast that garment of shame away tell god tonight i take away that garment of shame it cannot remain in my family oh sito rogo setaya brandelo koskemi makatesa kataya makato laida kasa thank you jesus in jesus mighty name of G we pray Amen. from tonight listen to me some places you may be mourning 
Some places it may be evening, maybe afternoon. But I declare to you that every garment of shame that has remained in your life, that you have been wearing to not, today, it is removed Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As I've spoken, so shall it be. Amen. Many will receive a testimony tonight Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Immediately, Jesus sent for him. He said, I don't need you anymore your garment jesus is calling me i want to go and take a new life i am going to meet him you garment of shame you have to go he believed he had faith he knew that that garment was not necessary anymore he knew that that garment was not important in his life anymore and he decided to cast it away i don't care what kind of shame you have been passing through but i want to know let, let you know tonight there is one that can remove that garment of shame there is one that can speak the word and this word will take away every, all your shame i pray for you tonight whatever has brought shame into your home that whenever they see you they will use that word to describe you tonight it is gone in the name of jesus Amen. that was the faith from the part of Bartimaeus. he had faith we call this meeting faith clinic when you demonstrate your faith you receive deliverance he could not see but he had and believed and had faith brethren you are going to cry to god and say tonight and say father father from tonight, from tonight whatever you did not plant in my life and it's still there remove it now in the name of jesus open your mouth and begin to pray whatever you did not plant and it has I uproot it. Rekapo kosar kadaya, and it is growing. Lego don't ze ingrobo kataya raba. Laita so kotombro ingato lasna kata. Reko mosata. I remove it. I cast it out in the name of Jesus. Lord, take it away. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Brethren, there are people before they were born covenant were made and they don't know what is going on they just grew up in that family and begin to walk with that covenant that was spoke that was made because the blood covenant was made and said we want this maybe your parents or your forefathers did this thinking that it will work for your good but now it's turning against you tonight that covenant will be broken Amen. that covenant will be broken Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. you are going to open your mouth and say father, father. Every, covenant, every covenant evil covenant, evil covenant that, I'm that i'm still carrying i drop it tonight i, drop it I am walking with the new covenant of the blood of jesus open your mouth and begin to pray cast out that covenant the covenant because every evil covenant that has been working against my life that has been threatening me that not allowing me to move forward tonight that covenant is destroyed i destroy it lord was recovered like a broken thank you jesus in jesus mighty name we have prayed in jesus mighty name we pray now you too can heal the sick you too can speak and somebody will receive deliverance it's not only me that can speak to you do you know that you have the power as long as you have jesus in you you can be the one that will go to the mall and then somebody is sick and he just fell down and you speak the word and he received complete deliverance how do you know pastor pastor jesus did not say this okay wait 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 let's look at luke chapter 10 luke chapter 10 17 to 19 luke chapter 10 17 to 19 praise the name of the lord he says chapter 10 17 to 19 and the 70 who are these 70 70 disciples of christ that means you must belong to jesus for you to be able to heal for you to be able to speak for you to be able to declare 
you must belong to Jesus. And the 70 return again with joy. Look, tonight, somebody will return with joy. Amen. As long as you have Jesus in you, the joy of the Lord will be your strength. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to speak right now. Somebody who has somebody who is in the hospital because of COVID-19 as you begin to open your mouth to speak right now that person is receiving healing Amen. is receiving deliverance Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. look let's pause here because the spirit of God wants me to pray if, if you know anybody in the hospital right now with a specifically COVID-19 open your mouth and begin to pray begin to declare the word begin to speak the word begin to declare that lord let them come out of that sickness recopose caraba rendo sente libra yesu te camara jicoma we thank you in jesus mighty name we pray they will connect you and said i am healed and so shall it be in jesus name okay let's go and 17 and the 70 return again with their joy saying lord 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 jesus lord jesus do you know what even the devils are subject unto us through thy name did he say through any other name no through the name of jesus brethren i want you to shout the name of jesus three times one two go jesus 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 with that shout of jesus three times every knee will bow Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. every satanic activity in your home will bow Amen. in the name of jesus he said it's subject to us through thy name hey verse 18 and you know what jesus said and he said unto them i see satan like lightning falling from heaven every satanic attack in your life every demon on assignment in your life they will fall tonight in the name of jesus Amen. and when they fall they cannot move they cannot do you anything praise the name of the lord look at verse, verse 19 what it says they will follow but what will make them to fall he said but behold i give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpion and over all the power of darkness all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you praise the name of the lord Hallelujah. hey this jesus we are talking about carries power he said i give unto you he just he did not he did not he did not ask them come let me give you this thing to drink for you to receive power he spoke the word i give unto you power to tread upon serpents look words are powerful words are powerful i always hear a story of a young girl who was always when he comes back he will enter the kitchen of the mother and he, she will be cooking and one day the father came back with anger i don't know what she did he said you will remain like this in your life you will continue to cook like this in your life and the younger brother was there he heard after this girl went to university he graduated he now traveled abroad while she was abroad was working something happened she was deported back home and when she came back home she was doing nothing but cooking not even cooking with gas but with firewood and the smoke was really affecting her one day when the brother came the brother now became a strong christian he came to the kitchen and saw the sister cooking in an environment that is not conducive with firewood he remembered that word that his father spoke he said no i reversed that word in the name of jesus and after that this sister was delivered Amen. brethren there is power in the name of jesus Amen. has anybody spoken any word against you has anybody said anything against you or made any covenant against you 
open your mouth tonight and say, Father, Father every evil word every evil that was sent into my life, that was, into that was pronounced me. into my life, tonight I reject, I reject it. I reject open your mouth and begin to reject it. Open your mouth and reject it. Open your mouth and reject it. Recapacita. Every evil word pronounced into my life. I reject it. Whatever it is, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I reject it. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now. You see in that Luke chapter 10 verse 19, like I said, you can also heal. Like my friend uh, James Bird, he's watching us right now. I want to tell you, you are going to heal the sick. You just need to stay, sit in your home there and speak the word wherever you are to the people who are uh, contracted COVID-19. And they are going to be healed in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. He said, behold, I give unto you power. That means God has given you power. He has given you authority. So you are going to pray tonight and say, Father, I receive that power tonight to heal the sick, to cast out demons, to destroy the power of Satan. Open your mouth and begin to receive. Say, Lord, I receive according to your word. Because your word says that, if, that you have given me power. I receive it. I receive it. Namro zendrabo zandalaba sakataya irekepo sendere kama. Lord, I receive that power tonight. Lord, I receive that power tonight to heal, to deliver, to cast out demons. Lord Jehovah God, I receive that power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Brethren, tonight, wherever you are. Just lift up your hands. I want to pray for you. I want you to believe that Jesus is going to hear you tonight. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I want to thank you for all those who are watching all over the world. I want to thank you for your great love and mercy upon each and every one of us. For us to be alive today, Satan has been put to shame. If he had known that killing Jesus would release power to save us, he would not have done it. Jesus. Whoever right now is passing through trials, the Lord will use that trial. The trial of your faith to set you free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever you've been passing through in the past, whatever has been pursuing you, whatever demon has been sent on assignment in your life, Today we terminate that appointment. Amen. We terminate that this assignment. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever you did not invite into your home. And has come to stay with you. Everything has an expiration date. I command that thing to pack. And leave your home. In the name of Jesus. Look. Daddy. You said at the mention of the name of Jesus. Every knee must bow. I believe in your word for your children tonight. The centurion believed for his servant at home. He did, the servant did not see Jesus. But the master saw Jesus. And he believed for the servant. Lord Jesus, I am believing you for all who are connected to us tonight. That Lord, let them receive the answer to their prayer. And let miracles begin to flow in. Father, I thank you. And I know that Lord, you will heal our land. For where we are, the land of Jordan, we commit it into your hands. And we pray, oh God, for special touch on this land. We want to thank you for great things you have done. For delivering so many people and making COVID-19 not to stay in this land. Father, wherever is still remaining and is still moving, Lord, we open our mouth to declare COVID-19, hear the word of God. Leave the land of Jordan now in the name of Jesus. Not only the land of Jordan. I declare to Nigeria. I declare to Kenya. I declare to United States of America. I declare to every part of the world where your children are. COVID-19, listen to me. Pack your load and go in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you have entered the lives of people wherever they are, you have no right. Pack your load and leave in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. 
this word may be declared from a smaller angle but lord it will go a long way to save souls let miracles and testimonies begin to come in thank you jesus in jesus mighty name we pray praise the name of the lord thank you god bless you in jesus name i don't want to remind you tomorrow tomorrow friday by 10 30 we have the philippine community meeting and seven circle church so you can join them by 10 o'clock or 10 10 from 10 15 in the morning from 10 15 or 10 30 to 10 to 11 30 one hour praise the name of the lord then on saturday the rccg also meet in the same venue on saturday from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock you know our services these days only last for one hour so please you can join us tomorrow friday and also if you are free on saturday join us on saturday god bless you and see you again Heal me, O oh Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. Heal me, O oh Lord, and I will be healed.